Yeah, we're back out in the big yard track once again with what? What did you see was on the thumbnail? Yeah, it was the big rock. The big rock is back. So anyways, uh, through A main and inevitably Horizon Hobby, they're growing on me just, just, just maybe a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Technically, through the warranty process, was fairly painless. The phone call, I, that's the part that was rough, man. But anyways, if you followed along, you know what's going on. You know I've got the big rock back. And I'm telling you right now, smiles for miles. When you take a look at this backyard track, this thing is nothing but smiles for miles right on my face. So hopefully, if you're interested in watching this episode from RC Guy Garage, you already know what we're going to break into, and that's breaking back into the big rock and the backyard track. Let's rip. All right. Little big rock. Switch. Let's forget where the switch is here. Right there. Can hear the fans going. Big rock's ready to rip, man. <laughs> Who needs a wheelie bar? It's gonna be nice when that tree's gone. Oh, my foot. close. <laughs> you gotta watch out for those. <laughs> My god, this thing is an animal.
Who needs a wheelie bar? You don't need it. I think taking the wheels off of that wheelie bar is awesome. Uh, awesome. Doesn't even need the wheels. Sai Lin is going to watch out for those. Oh, watch out for those trees, too. <laughs> Can I get... Uh, no, I can't get in there. No, I didn't think I could. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No! No, 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 no! <laughs> No, 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 no! What? Oh, no! Oh, no! I guess hitting that tree was, was worse than I thought. But I think I can fix that. Alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, it looks like... It looks like I'll be able to fix this. Alright, so I think we're gonna be back. Yeah, we are. We definitely are. How's my bat battery tray thing working? Yeah, kind of, sort of. <laughs> oh, do I want to drive it? Yeah, I'll drive it. Looks like it'll drive. It's three-wheel drive right now. Three-wheel drive. So yes, we are in <laughs> so quick, but it does show me something, all right? So it does show me that my axles are actually wearing out, and that's really not that big of a deal because I'm sure these axles are pretty inexpensive, and I do believe that there is an upgrade available for this vehicle. So what you can see what happened is... Um, the the actual the actual uh, universal popped out. So what I'm going to try to do is see if I can pop this back in. Now I'm assuming it's because of that tree hit. It doesn't actually seem like this is really broken. So and it is the front driver's side. So it's on this side right here that we just popped. So let's uh, pop this wheel off and see what it's going to take to go ahead and very quickly fix this. So like I said, it's just, it popped out. I found it. It was amazing. I didn't even realize that, I didn't even realize that there was an issue uh, until I walked over to it. And all I do is just walk over to it to flip it over. I didn't realize that there was a problem. So that's just another good thing about the big rock. <laughs> you don't even know when it's broken because it just keeps going. All right. The live we just had was actually crazy. There were so many donators on that. I didn't even know what was going on. And I realized someone was like, we're going to donate to the the new X-Max fund for RC Gagra. <laughs> what do you mean new X-Max? We don't even want to give the old X-Max a chance. Just get a new one, guy. Like, what the heck? <laughs> So I'm just going to pop out the um, the little nut. It's a 1.5 on the set screw that's right there. And then um, we will... I'm going to pop this joint out so I can flop that down, I think. I think I can just flop that down. So I'll pull the pin out. And then I'll go after this right here. I guess hitting a tree, I mean... Yeah, that that's deserved. 
I guess. All right, pop that out. And let's see, pop this out. So the Universal itself looks mint, but you can definitely see that we've got some wear going on. So I just want to see if I can pop it in just like this, unless I need to use heat. There is the possibility that I may have to use heat. So that's what I'm going to do. So I think in order for this to go right, toss it, try this way, see what happens. Uh, it is flexing. Just worried that it's going to flex too much. If it flex too much, then I'll end up breaking this, and I can't drive the big rock. So let's just see if I can flex that out just enough to be able to pop this joint back in. And I think I want to use... Boy, that's really like, how did that pop up, man? That's a pretty solid piece of plastic. So I need to do, is I need to go in to here. So I'm saying what I need to do is I need to get in here and pry that up. So there we go. So let's see, is this gonna work? It's almost like I need a razor blade, might be better. So I think I'm gonna heat this up just to see what happens. See if I can get this just to, just to warm up. I'm gonna grab my heat gun. It's gonna warm it up. Let's see if that was enough. And it was, okay. So I have to kind of work semi-quick. It's gonna kind of be a pain, but I need to work that out while I push down. So I'm saying I need to work that out and push down and in. It's not as easy as you think, man. I'll try it again. Look at that. in there like that then while it's still warm just apply apply some tension here see what I'm saying just while it's warm just apply a little inboard tension So it looks like this might be ready for some axles. It's in there. Seems, seems pretty tight. But you can see that the pins, see how the pins are wallowing now? I don't know if you can see that. But the pins are starting to wallow out, which again, it's what's expected. So, but still, this this big rock is still, 
the Ribbon Man. And I will have to take off, I'm going to take off the bottom one, I think. Uh, which way is this? This way. This stuff is awesome. <laughs> I'm liking it already. It's already proven. It's RC Guy Garage proven. Doing this kind of blind here. What am I doing? <laughs> Literally just jammed a screw in there. Supposed to be a pin, not a screw. Come on, guy. Get with it. Not too tight. Sure that's out. Put your pin in, guy. Straighten it out. Hex on. Find the set screw. I'll make sure it's in there. Crank. Peel back on. She have impact gun noises. <laughs> there we go. All right. Big Rock is going to go back, back out. <laughs> ah, I'm telling you. This little truck is immense. It is, it is starting to show its wear. I really don't know how many battery packs I've got through this thing. I do have a bunch. Again, I have driven this um, off camera as well just because, you, you know, I've, I've talked about it before. You do everything on camera, it, it gets difficult because sometimes you realize you're not paying attention to driving. I do now know how to drive this big rock pretty good. So, fairly good. Not an expert here, but pretty good. All right, let's go back out. So I'm starting to question whether if, um, I'm starting to question whether if the wheelie bar on the back of the big rock, meaning the wheels, if they're even necessary. The way this thing is ripping without the wheels could be onto something. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Big rock. Oh, maybe it does need the wheelie bar. <laughs>
That was a total side landing on that. Uh, driver's side rear wheel, I think. That was on the wheelie bond. That's what breaks the, um, that's what breaks the wheels. Yeah, I don't know if it needs a wheelie bar. <laughs> it's got a violent way of landing on its shell. Got to learn that when it's at that specific angle to give it a chance. Oh, my lack of just trigger pull. Love the way this rock, the big rock, just floats. Oh, that was bad. Looks like all four wheels are turning. All four wheels are still turning. Oh, big rock just don't care nothing about nothing. <laughs> I am really being abusive to this thing. That was literally an I don't care nothing about nothing. That was literally an I don't care nothing about nothing trigger pull. Didn't even steer it, I just let it go. I think the new gear mesh is doing great. I don't know how I pulled that out. That I didn't even do anything with. Now see how the front wheels got the ultra lock? 
right now happening, it's fine. Just give, do it, give it a little tweak. Right to the pole. <laughs> how is it that there's like one? How is it that there's like one post and I hit it? If I can get a backflip. Of course I can. I can get a backflip this way. Yep. But that was a bad one. That was actually an on power backflip. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. But the big rock don't care. Oh, I actually, I did it. Oh, it did. Okay, so it did care this time. All right, well, there we go. Can still drive it as a one legger. Two wheel drive now, two wheel drive, big rock. Oh, I didn't like the load. Well, anyways, there we go. So, finally broke. Finally broke a piece of the big rock. This time it's actually broken. Uh, is it the same axle? Yeah, same axle. So, finally broke off. All right, well, I guess it's time to order some upgrades. So, I guess kind of, I guess the thing that I guess I want you to understand is that this rip that I just took this through was more along the lines of a real... Well, I mean, I kind of do that all the time. I don't care nothing about nothing. It's a very minor part that's broken. Definitely can smell some heat, I think. Sounds like both the motor and ESC fans are running. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you, man. This thing is still running. It's, right now, it's, granted, it's doing kind of like a... It's a two and a half or two and two and a quarter axle right now because the front's different out a little bit uh, with on that on that non-connected side. But anyways, like I always say, point blank, the whole point is to get out there and rip it. Are we back to being kind of broken? Do I need to order parts? Yeah. Should I have ordered these axles? Yep, I should have, but I didn't. So I'm gonna have to order them. So anyways, I'm out. Are you out? If you're not, I suggest you get out and point blank rip something so i wanted to get my temp gun and my cell checker just to see what we we're looking at connector connector we're looking at 80 something 86 95 at the wires esc we're looking at 95 motor we're looking at 90 something 110 113 not too bad. Battery itself, a little warm. 110. Now I wanted to check the um, cells here. So the cells, we got 10.83, uh, cell 1, 36, cell 2, 36, cell uh, 4, oh uh, yeah, cell 3, 3, 5. So, pretty good. Not too bad. That's it. Bonus. I'm using a heat gun on my this truck. This guy.